Hello. Welcome to Friday. I'm finishing my breakfast. <laughs> So um, today I'm going to be doing the Milky Way on this canvas that I had started the other day. And um, I need to do that before I go back to the big canvas because this will be next on big canvas. So I need to make sure that's fine. So I want to do it here first. And then um, if that doesn't, I can't do the splatter paint down here because I do not want to get white dots all over this room. So when I do next stream on Tuesday, I'll splatter paint this and then I'll start big canvas doing the Milky Way on that. But if this doesn't take all that long today, I'm gonna do my nails. What am I eating? I'm eating a cream cheese Danish. <laughs> Noah says you don't want a galaxy in your dining room. It would just be the stars. And they literally go so far when you splatter paint like that, that um, yeah, I need to go do that in the studio, so. That will be a Tuesday thing. Um, we have a gift sub from Anise going to Penguin Frog. Thank you. Um, and the other thing is this is going to be messy, so I can't just eat a little bit and then paint. Um, because when I do the galaxy painting, I put gloves on because it's so messy. I also have coffee, so. But the color I brought down for my nails. Come here. Is Rainbow Snow. This color. It's basically silver hollow glitter, and that's it. So that's what I want to do with my nails if I end up taking less time on the painting than I thought. But I also have to do a little test swatch in the sketchbook about color. So we'll do a little bit of color mixing stuff too, so. Anise says, is the studio covered in a drop cloth? It is, it's covered in multiple drop cloths. I have a plastic one down. So like if I spill water, it can't get down into the carpet. And then I have um, like canvas ones down on top. So it's not just plastic everywhere. The studio is very protective. It would be better if it was like linoleum, like cheap linoleum, but um, I'm not gonna replace the flooring when I'm not owning this house. I'm just going to protect what's there. All of the artwork, all of the artwork, all of the studio floors when I went to college were concrete like the metals room, the sculpture room, the ceramics room, the drawing rooms, screen printing, lithography, like all of those floors, painting, were all concrete and they sucked to stand on. Especially in painting when they were like, we want you to stand the whole three hour art block. But I suppose you can just kind of like sand that floor down. but it was very uncomfortable. But I hope everyone's having a good Friday. Um, I had an allergy shot yesterday and went out and did some things. I made homemade gyoza last night. And I made like 50 of them. And we ate half of them. Yeah, you ate most of that. I only ate like five. Oh. Well, I ate like 20. <laughs> yeah, you ate like 20 of them. We have a 14 month resub from Token Newt. Thank you. Is this a breakfast stream with a croissant or a cris <laughs> I tried to do the French pronunciation, but it didn't come out that way. A croissant or a Danish. 
It's a Danish. How do you say Danish in French? I don't know right it's now. It's probably like Dani. Vagabond says one day he'll make brownies. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's a, yes. One day I will. It's not today, but one day. How am I feeling after my shot? Just fine. They moved me to the sensitive track because there's like the normal, like, oh, you're getting these doses. And then I was having a problem. So they're like, oh, you must be sensitive. We'll put you on the sensitive track. And then um, things have been fine since then. I was trying to eat this before the countdown finished and I didn't. But otherwise, it's a rainy day here today, which is great because that means I don't have to go out in the heat and water the garden. So um, I'm glad for that, but I don't think the honeydew melons need any more help because they are going wild. Do you... Um want me to get something for dinner? Or do you want to eat, like, sandwich? Do we have any more bread, like, in the freezer? Oh, yeah. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay. I just want grilled cheese with tomato. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna not go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. Almost done. Could be worse. Hmm. Could be a salad and you could be Thomas. It could be a salad and I could be Thomas. Tokunut says, do they not love salad? No, Thomas loves salad. He just takes forever to eat it. Hi, Kiki. Somehow the milk is still good. I don't know, I don't drink the milk. It was sell by June 29th. Hmm? And it still smells fine. <laughs> I didn't have any of that milk at all because uh, the only thing I do is I put half and half in coffee. All right, I finished the Danish. Coffee I can drink. Circle now squared said that's still a week away though. What's the date? Sell by June 29th. Oh, sell by the 29th. Yeah, sell by the 29th of June. So it is 13 days past the sell by date. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Sometimes I get milk from Costco and it's magic. It's like, it lasts so long. It's very convenient. Okay, Danish is done. I have some friends that buy like almond milk because it just lasts so long. Or soy, not soy. Yeah, it must be almond they buy. All right, so um, the cool thing about doing this downstairs is you get to see it very close. So that's not the one I want. I can also do this. So that is the fun thing about being down here and working on this size canvas, is you get to see it slightly better. So I did already clean off my palette, which um, 
I suppose you can't see, but I could do this. And we could do color mixing there. So, Steven, could you get my iPad? Could you get my iPad? Yeah. I don't need the second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can finish your cereal. Is it in your studio? It is. It's on the clip. So you'll have to unplug it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. I do have this. So I did this test because I had all the extra paint when I did this the other day. So I'm going to try a few things on this while I can. This one is not as well gradient of a gradient. This one's a lot harsher. This one's smoother. MCL Blue says, here I'm having lunch and they're having breakfast. Feels weird. I mean, it is 11.15. But I hadn't had breakfast yet. And I probably won't have lunch at this point. All right, so I do want to try some things by basically just like swatching some colors on top of this and just kind of seeing what things look like. That was very stuck. So this is dog scene purple. Dang it. I already got it all over my hand. Because the cap twisted. Um, this tube is a little older, which so it's kind of empty. So it makes it hard to read. So I'm just putting tiny little dots on my palette for now. And I just want to test some things. So that's raw sienna. And then raw umber. And what else did I grab? No, you three are separate. You three are a different test. And then titanium white. And glazing liquid. Because I brought that down too. Can I get this in the shot? A little bit. Sweet. That works so good. I'm right-handed though, so that's kind of a pain, but that's okay. Hi Kiki, it's raining, I know, and you're not thrilled about this. That's not a box you can go in, that's like the box I'm throwing trash in. Okay, well, there's no wet paint in there yet. All right, so this is the same gradient as I have on the canvas, and I'm just going to like test how some colors look. Just because I wanna see how it behaves on top of this. Because the inside of the Milky Way is kind of Violet E. That's coffee. Don't do that. Let's switch that and put you over here where I don't automatically go to put the brush. So I'm thinking this raw sienna I got is too orange. 
I was hoping it'd be a little more neutral, but it's not. Mr. Sips says, I thought you were doing big canvas. Um, I do want to do big canvas, but um, I need to finish this before I start big canvas because this is part of big canvas. Because this is my little test for big canvas. To see how I feel about it. And like the colors on it. And I was going to do this with a sponge, and I might do it on the test, the study over there with the sponge. But I'm kind of liking how this is looking with the brush. We have a 12 month resub from. Oh, wait, that didn't. Shoot. <laughs> it's not green yet. There we go. Thank you, Chaz. Uh, 12 month resub from Nat Common. Thank you. Thanks for hitting 12 months. Who says I've been gone for a bit? Hope to watch more streams from now on. Well, welcome back in. We are doing painting study today. And maybe nails. Depends on how long this takes. So I didn't particularly love the raw sienna, so I'm going to try that up here and see if it makes a difference over the darker color. Hiding from his pill time? Uh, he already got his pills. Oh. <laughs> no pills, please. He already got them. He does not like them. He did fine with them uh, last night when I gave it to him. Mm -hmm. 
So, I think I need to basically work some of this violet back through. What I don't like about it is that it's transparent on top of the gradient I have. And I know this is going to probably look weird and I, I have to trust that about like this process again because it's going to look weird until there's stars on it and the stars aren't happening today. I do feel like there just needs to be more violet overall in general. So I'm wondering exactly how I want to accomplish that. So like one thing I can do, and this is in my sketchbook, so like <clears throat> testing it is like not a problem, is I can do like a glazing liquid and start to bring in some of this violet. But the problem is, is this violet is quite intense. Like, see how intense this is? Like, that's not exactly what I want. And if I start to tone it down with the sienna, it's not cool anymore, it's warm. And I think my other problem is I need it to be more blue, but luckily I have Prussian that I brought down also, so I can try that. That's better, that's more of what I want. So then the question is, is do I just do like a layer of like this mix on top of everything and then build the Milky Way clouds on top of that? Because the Prussian and Doxine Violet purple is much more what I want it to be. So I can keep testing that and just slide all this over. This isn't the right brush. <laughs> paint off and switch to this brush. So like this here feels better to me. 
color wise. So as long as that works good with putting in the Milky Way clouds that I just did over here, then I'm gonna put a wash of that over canvas and then we'll start to build those on top. So this color looks way better. Cause like I needed it to be yellow, but like it was too yellow. All right. So the, what was that raw umber? That looked way better for the clouds too. And it's picking up a little bit of that glaze because it's still wet with the blue and the purple in it. But I think that's fine. I like how that's turning out. We have a 15 month reset from Lunar Pearl, thank you. With the Kepi emote. Kepi is wandering around this room. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is going much better. But I am in need of more titanium white paint. Balsami says, interesting, kind of a smoky effect where the colors blend. Yeah, like so, like I don't have any more of the glaze on this side. So like, if you imagine there's like a cut here, that's kind of how it's going to look, like between here and here. Oh, we have a Christmas song. It is Christmas time. Table. Shoot. Let's fix that. If you're quick with acrylic, you don't ruin anything, but you have to be quick.
Bye, Keppel. So like I said, normally I do this with a sponge and I have a sponge in here ready to go for that. But I kind of like how the brush is working. It's giving me a little bit more control. And I kind of feel like I should have done the center of this first and then built the clouds around the edges. But that's why we test things. Penguin Frog says, that thunder sounds like perfect ambient ASMR rain and thunder sleep 10 hour black screen thunder. It is, it's gorgeous out. Like just, it sounds really nice. So because of that, um, not doing the inner part of the Milky Way here first, um, I'd have to build these clouds back on, on these edges. But I think I'm happy with how this is going. So my plan of action is on the canvas, I'm going to do this glaze, like the glaze I had put down first, then do the center and then build the clouds. And then on Tuesday, when I go back to the studio and do a big canvas, um, I'll put the stars down on it. And I don't have a tiny brush to like put some stars down, but like, There's some there, and then you get the ones in the clouds. Like, kind of. Like, that's what it's kind of gonna be like. Good. Happy with plan. Now to do plan. Um, I can go here, probably. Yeah. Actually, let's do this first so you can see color mixing because you don't get to see color mixing in the studio. So this is fun. And this is the biggest brush I brought downstairs and that's not good enough. Bring me a larger brush, please. How often do we get thunderstorms in Raleigh? Um, it's hard to say because we just had like two weeks of no rain and then like a week of pure rain. So, and this has been the weirdest summer. So I need violet, Prussian blue, and I'll need glazing liquid. And my palette knife. So 
So this is what you guys don't get to see when I'm upstairs. Where I take paint, and I make a little pile, and I take paint, and I put it in that pile, and then I mix them together. And they're both dark colors, so you don't get to see. And then I judge how I feel about it, like this. I think needs more blue. So this is why I like using a gray palette when I'm doing some things because I get a better judge of how the colors are. I do have palettes that aren't gray, but it is something I enjoy about the gray palette. because so I have two gray ones and two like, they're off-white. Hi! <laughs> I know there's like a hundred up there. Yeah, that's why it's not helpful information. I know. So, this brush is an oval wash. Okay. So I need something, um, like, yay big. Are you looking? Yeah, I was like, they can't see anything. Oh, you moved the camera, but then we didn't refocus it. What do you mean? What do you mean? They can see this. No, I didn't move anything. I'm saying like that here. you talking to me now, okay. they couldn't... It's, they're just looking at nothing. Well, that's, I was mixing stuff until you walked in. Okay, what is this? You need something bigger than that. I need something about this wide. But it needs to be oval? It doesn't have to be oval. No. But this brush is very soft. Like, the snap of it. Like, this is kind of a soft brush. Okay. When they're dry, they have, like, this kind of snap. Mm -hmm. So, like, a, a wider, softer wider brush. A brush that does that. Like, about, like, an inch. An inch wide that does this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, so like this part I'm sure is very dark, but you can kind of see the very thin color here. So this is the color I'm trying to make. So I'm gonna pull the glazing liquid into it and I'm going to need probably a lot more glazing liquid because I want this to be very transparent. So I'm gonna pull all that there and then grab the glazing liquid and start with that. So this is essentially clear paint. It'll dry clear. So I'm going to add this to it. I think it needs more blue still. I brought you two. I don't know if one of these will work. This one's really good, thank you. This is the brush that he brought, which is perfect. You have a kitty under there. Uh-huh, he's nervous about the storm. Yeah, he's probably not cool. No. Poor kitty. DJ Sh Sherbert says, oh, it did change color, so like white paint. Um, essentially, but it's transparent, so it's more clear than like white. If I mix like the white paint into it, it'll look way different. Once I'm happy with this, I'll do a little swatch of that. Because what you're seeing through this is that gray. It does make it more runny too, because the glazing liquid is a lot thinner.
All right, so let's do a little swatch of that. So this is titanium white. If I put that over here and mix a little bit of this into it, it's going to be way different. Do you see the difference between those two? And this one is more blue, so if I add a little bit of blue to it. Because this is blocking the gray palette from coming through. Because this is opaque and this is transparent. Hundred bits from Willpower sixty four. Thank you. Who says how's things? Things are good. So the reason I'm going with glazing liquid right now over titanium white is because I want to show the yellow black gradient that's on the canvas. I want that to come through. I don't want to cover this up. If I was covering this up, I would add white. So brush Steven brought me. I'm just gonna get it a little wet because it'll flow better and wipe off the extra water. And then we're going to take that color I made and we're going to put it over this. So it's just influencing it a little because it's transparent, it's showing the yellow through it. So I'm trying to just fill in like the canvas pieces because of the texture of the canvas. And then I'm trying to smooth it out. Starting at the top is probably a little bit easier because it's, it's more forgiving over the dark color than it is over the light color. Because it's darker there, it's just because there's more paint there. The yellow is still influencing that. You can see it because it's transparent. And it's tinted the black paint I had up here blue. And you can kind of see the difference because the sides are still the original colors. So I'm going to paint the edges of this. And then we'll start adding in the Milky Way clouds. because I like what it did when the glaze was still wet when I was doing that on the paper. So I want it to not be fully dry, but um, if I do these now, it's better. So we'll just let it have a few minutes of drying time.
So there's the bottom painted. And I just have the top and then the, my left side. You're still slinking around. Kiki, what's up? Know we're making you feel safe and happy? You can go hide under the comforter on the bed. I know you do that sometimes. You're just gonna sit by my feet? Okay. So with this glazing liquid, what I can do if I really wanted to is once it's dry, I could give this another coat and because it is transparent, it will just darken it up and hide more of the um, yellow black gradient if I wanted to. Like if I'm like, oh, I just want it to be more blue and darker. Like that's one way I could go about that. That is all for. Yeah, he is just a loaf right by my feet. When it was raining yesterday or the day before, when it was done, I watched him walk out of the guest room and I was like, why were you in there? You don't ever go hang out in there. But I guess that's where he was feeling safe that day. All right, this is good now. We're going to start filling in these clouds. Although I did say I wanted to do the center first, didn't I? I did say that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same color, but without any of the glazing liquid and start to tap in the center of the Milky Way. Maybe not this brush though. This brush was good. <clears throat> And because I painted the sides, everywhere is wet. So I'm trying not to mess up what I've done. So looking at this, the center isn't quite as dark as I felt it was. So this is just going to add a little bit, I think. And I added some glazing liquid as I'm moving this way just to make it slightly more transparent and just a little bit darker instead of as dark as it is up here.
And if I mix in a little bit of this raw umber, it makes it even darker and almost black in some areas, which is good. can't see there's a glare. Have a good night DJ Sherbert. Yeah that's uh late you should you should head to bed. There's still a glare. That's a little better. Let me just finish this part off so I can see it. Okay. So there's that. Now we need to start adding in all of these clouds. So I have the titanium white already. I'm, I have a little bit of raw sienna on the palette, but I don't love it with what I was doing with the testing. I liked the raw umber a lot better. I'm gonna put more of that on the palette. And we're just gonna use the same brush. I might rotate this a little bit. With mostly white and maybe just a little bit of the umber. And start to tap in these clouds. And then I'm just trying to kind of fade them out into this mess. Like so. And I'm working with some of these brighter areas first so I can see it better. Slipduke says, the painting right now makes me think of when you drip food coloring into a clear glass in water and watch it spread. A little bit. I can kind of see that.
Let me grab the top of this canvas before I can do this side, and then we'll go back down and do the other side of the Milky Way here. probably build up a little bit more titanium white in here and just brighten this area up. So I want to get all the extra paint off my brush because there's a lot of that titanium white on it right now. And I don't want to start with pure that alone on this other side. We got to build up to that. In the NASA photo I'm looking at too, the brightest part is right here. So I don't want to get quite to that level on this side. Kepi went to his helper chair. Good boy. We have this um, folding chair, like on the other side of the TV with a cushion on it and it's like his spot. And he likes to hang out there. So we've decided that that's our new hangout spot during the storm. Too much titanium white. I'm actually really happy with this. I don't know if I want to push it any further, honestly. Like, the stars are really going to make this shine and I'm super excited to put those on on Tuesday. Cool. So what we're going to do is I want to do one more test on sketchbook. So we're going to come back to the sketchbook and I need to find a blank page like this one. And I do not need iPad anymore, but I should make a note. Steven, are you down here? Could you get me a pen or a pencil or something, Sharpie?
does not matter. I just need to make a note in my sketchbook. So my note is um, glaze, which was Doxine and Prussian. Yeah, Prussian. Did you finish your study? I have to put stars on it. You see it? Yeah, it's very good. Isn't it? I really like it. Yeah. Um, I need to put stars on it, but I don't want to do that down here. Yeah. Because it's a mess. So I'm going to do that Tuesday before I start on Big Canvas. Okay. But I'm going to do another test in my sketchbook, and I did bring polish down because I need to do my nails. Okay. So I figured that we could um, just transfer to that. Alright, so the glaze, um, this is going to, I'm going to call, the, call this color correcting layer. And I wish I knew what color I did for this gradient the other day, but I know it's in the VOD, so I can just go look it up later. So the clouds are titanium white and uh, raw umber. And then in between that I had done the center part, and that was same as glaze. Without glaze. Those are my notes. One. Two. Three. And then four is going to be stars, obviously. Those are my notes. Cool. So we are set there. Let's do the one other test I want to try with another color, and then we'll move to nails. So I wanted to try alizarin, phthalo blue green, impression blue, and white, and see, because someone said that made a good sky, a good night sky. So I thought I would just do a little test and see how I felt about those colors so I knew. Oh, I have Prussian out already. Oops. Sorry to hear you're not feeling well, Fossix. Prussian, Phthalo, and Alizarin. And I'm just going to kind of use a brush and swoosh these around on this piece of paper to see how I feel about it. That is a very pretty blue though. Oh, this, there we go. Very pretty blue. So this is just the phthalo and the alizarin. And there's it with some white. There's a little more alizarin in it. That's rich. That's a very, that's a very rich color system. Like the palette of it, I really like it. It's a lot more rich than what I have on the study.
It does feel like a way to bypass doing the yellow because when I add more white to it, like so, it feels more like the blue on the study. Like this, this lightest color, like that feels more like this blue. So that may be a way to bypass doing the whole glazing thing, which was my color correcting layer. I like that better. Because okay, blue is my favorite color, so I'm biased. Me too. Okay, that's good. Now let's try it with a little bit of this Prussian and see how I feel about that. I'm just going to do the same thing, but add Prussian into it. Because Prussian has what? What's the... It has bone black in it. So it's going to make it even darker. This is more saturated, I think, than this is. Okay. This is alizarin and phthalo blue green shade. And this is same, but adding Prussian. Yeah, because I can do this. I could mix this up as my lightest color for big canvas. And then this I think is too saturated. So this will need to be toned down with a little bit of orange because it's blue. But if I mix umber into it, which is, or umber or sienna, because sienna's quite orange. Let's try that. Phthalo, alizarin. I started with umber because it was right there. Green. I'm trying not to get my hand in the paint. This is fun for me. <laughs> Just getting to try out colors and see what it, they make because the pigments are going to influence everything. All right, now we're gonna try it with raw sienna. and see if it's more of like a denim blue and less saturated. Okay, I'm finding when I mix too much in. So the same. they get greener. So this one's green, and then this one's quite green. But these are just barely different, and I kind of like it best without either, because it's very blue, and it's way better. Okay, this is what's with burnt umber? I don't have burnt umber down here, I have raw umber. Raw umber is what I did the underpainting for Big Canvas. So this is me just testing colors for the sky because alizarin and phthalo are this row. It's just different variations of it, and some of them have titanium white, the lighter ones do. And it's the same down here, except there's also Prussian blue in them. Oh, first green. These two are raw umber with alizarin and phthalo. 
This one just has more raw umber in it, so it's greener. And then these two are raw sienna with alizarin and thalo. And then this one just has more raw sienna and it's also greener. Tokenut says, but blue. And like the, the study, the study that I've been working on looks really good. I'm very happy with this. And the stars are gonna just really complete this. Like normally when I do a sky like this, I'm like, okay, it looks all right. I don't know, but I can't work on this anymore. I need to be done with it. So I'm just gonna put the stars on it and the stars go on it. And I'm like, oh my God, it's perfect. But this is good now. So I'm really excited to see it with the stars on Tuesday. But this gives me a good base of what I should do because I can take these and use these for the sky because they're not as saturated as that. And that was a good color correcting measure to do the glaze. I'm happy with how that turned out. But I'd rather not do glaze because that's easier. So. Cool. That was a good test of everything. <laughs> Umber sashimi. Cool, happy, and those can all go over here. So now that I'm done with all that, I guess I'm gonna paint my nails. <laughs> medium rare umber. I have raw umber, burnt umber, raw sienna, burnt sienna. But the burnt ones are upstairs because I didn't think I would need them because burnt sienna is very orange and burnt umber is very dark also. I just got a little bit of purple on my nails. <laughs> Impromptu nail stream. That was my thought. I'm like, uh, I can always do my nails. I've wanted to. I've had the polish off for like a week now. And I just haven't had the time to put new polish on. All right. We could get more Danish coffee. The only thing I can easily get right now is more coffee, but I do not need more coffee. Rowlet Hoot says, it feels like it's been a bit since last nail stream. Yeah, it has. I did red nails for the bike race because my bike is red. I should say my bike is mostly red. It's hurricane colors. Cooking stream one. Listen, I told Chaz we were going to do cookies at some point, but I haven't done it because I've been busy doing other things and Big Canvas has a deadline. So I need to finish Big Canvas. Is that rain? Yeah. Coffee has made me jittery. I did have caffeine coffee this morning, which I may regret tonight trying to sleep. Chess says cookies do not have a deadline. True. Ooh, this is real hard on my other hand. Especially when I've had coffee. I find that the best way to do my other hand is um, basically hold the brush still and then use the um, hand that actually has dexterity and move that instead. All right, there's base coat.
And where'd Rainbow Snow go? There it is. Chrysalium, I've been saying that for a long time. <laughs> I think there is one versus game of it. I might need to add some thinner to this. No, you're fine. You're just not mixing very well. Does the one on Switch have multiplayer? Hmm, I'm not sure. I feel like there's one, but I don't remember which one. I want to say Wii. Vagabond says it's co-op on Switch, not versus though. But you could do two different Switches doing like single player and then just be like, who can finish first? Yeah, like Tokunit said, race for best time solo and make it versus. Renee says, I don't know, I wouldn't dare challenge Chaz, he's real good. It's been a little bit since I played. <laughs> Ember Laura says, what brand of polish are you using? Um, this is Hollow Taco. Well, it will be. My base coat is Nail Aid Sapphire. Let me do... Which one is split? They're split. This is the base coat I use. And then this is Hollow Taco, which will be the color and then the top coat once I get there. I suppose I can leave it here. You said you were looking at Mooncat. I have never tried Mooncat. Um, I have some Bees Knees Lacquer polishes and I have some Bluebird polishes. And I like both of those as well. I suppose I didn't even look to see if this was on camera, oops. So when I was little, I had a set of bonbon polishes and they were Christmas themed. And if you don't remember bonbon polishes, they were like this tall, they were tiny little bottles of polish and it was a Christmas set. And there was like, I want to say eight of them in the set. And my favorite one looked like this polish. one coat it's going to need at least two all right let's see if I can get this other hand not too terribly yep that's gonna be bad let's do it this way
All right, one layer. Yeah, definitely gonna need two, maybe three. Hi, Pure Delia. Welcome in. We win also just join. Welcome in. Jess says plus one. It's going to be at least two. Chriselium said, thank God my birthday soon. I can legally spend obscene amounts of money on nail polish. I haven't bought any in a little bit. I bought... Didn't I... I was going to, or I did, buy polish specifically for um, a wedding I'm going to coming up, and now I'm wearing a different dress. Shoot. <laughs> Whoops. I only need one polish to fix it. <sighs> Dang it. That's fine. That just means I get to buy more polish, Vagabond says. Exactly. It's just a top topper I need. I need the silver flaky topper. <laughs> Penguin Frog says, time to buy no more nail polish. I think you should just get three more, just to be sure. Oh, that one was wet and I did mess it up a little bit. Okay, oops. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, left hand I can do. Because I'm still wearing a blue dress. I just, the dress does not have gold anymore. It has silver, so now I have to do silver. But I like silver better. And all my jewelry is silver, and I was like gonna have to buy gold jewelry. I have one gold necklace. My one says, a fortunate change. Yeah. When I realized I couldn't wear the dress I had gotten originally, because it doesn't fit anymore, um, I had already gotten shoes, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to buy another pair of shoes. So I have navy shoes, so I need to find a different navy dress that will fit me. Probably do this in the air again, because that's easier with this hand. My other option is just doing these nails. Or doing these nails as a gradient with the shady navy color I have. Yeah, Thunder Go Burr. Three would be better, but two is fine. 
So we're gonna give this a second to dry and then I'll put the top coat on. So if Rebecca says, I saw a weather map and geez, it's coming down on Raleigh. So there's like this joke that's gone around that there's like a dome over Raleigh and like, they're like, we're gonna have severe weather. And then like, it seems to split and then Raleigh doesn't get any. So like, I feel like that's happened a lot, but like every so often we get a big storm and it's like, who forgot to plug in the dome today? <laughs> you can almost say the same thing about St. Louis. All right, how am I gonna open this with wet nails? Palette knife. I should just get rid of boxes, but I haven't. So this is the top coat. This is super glossy taco, which you can't get anymore. And it is my favorite top coat, but someone gave me a recommendation for something similar that's a, like you can get it at Target or wherever. And I have it saved on my phone, but I don't remember the name of it. Like I like their glossy taco too, but the super glossy taco is, I really liked. So I bought a bottle when they announced they were retiring it. And this is the last of it I have. All right, left hand is almost dry. My thumbnail is still a little damp. Amber says, I've been using the one Haley recommended a while back. I think it's service, service. Let me go find out which one someone recommended to me. Chaz gave me a high five on Duolingo. Thanks, Chaz, for completing the friend quest. I think you did all the work on it this time. Um, let's see. List. Shopping list. That's all bike stuff. Uh... Ceche Vite, Dry Fast Top Coat, S-E-C-H-E-V-I-T-E. -E -E. Yes, thank you. That's it, Chrysalium. All right, my thumbnail over here isn't fully dry, so I'm gonna do that one last. So I've been researching how I'm going to actually get Massive Canvas to its person. 
and I've been saving boxes because lately I had to buy new glazing paper, which is what I ship paintings in. Like that's what I wrap them in before they get put in their box. And I had to buy a new set of that because I'm almost out and I will need it for big canvas. And it came in the perfect size box. So it's just kind of like a rectangle long tube box. And the way I am shipping massive canvas to this person is I am going to unstretch it and roll it. So I've been watching videos on like how other people do that. And I'm confident I can do that. But the reason that um, I don't do that normally is because whoever would buy a canvas that I would unstretch and roll um, has to figure out how to get it restretched. And Brandon says, sounds terrifying. Yeah, which is why I feel like I don't want to do that for other people to make them deal with that. But this is a little bit different. The circumstances for this are different. Tokunut says, Big Canvas already has a home. Uh, yes, in a way it is a commission. And I normally don't do commissions, so I'm not going to start that, but this is a special project. Similar to the bridge painting I did. That was for a friend getting married. Morning, Brandon. So there, that's top coat. I might do a second one in a second once this dries. But those of you who've been coming in while I painted my nails and not when I was doing painting, this is painting. Here's the study. Uh, overhead cam. There. So this was the Milky Way piece I started as a study for big canvas. And it was yellow and gray and black. And actually, I still have a little bit of it. Come here, sketchbook. Let's not ruin my nails. So when I did that originally, I had done some of the same color in a sketchbook. So you can kind of see the yellow down at the bottom and it goes up to black at the top. And I started to just kind of mess around with color in the sketchbook and I wasn't thrilled with it because I feel like the yellow was too wrong. So then I did a glaze, which you can see here a little bit of like a blue purple transparent on top and that fixed the color. And that looked way better. So then, on the actual one, I did that same glaze. That's what's here. And then I did the Milky Way this way. And I'm not doing the stars today because I'm not going to splatter paint in this room. That'll be Tuesday before I start Big Canvas. We'll just put some stars on it and then we'll start putting this onto Big Canvas. So I'd like to turn this around so it was right side up for you guys. But this is kind of, you see the glare that I deal with sometimes? Yeah. But I'm very happy with how this looks. It's probably one of my best like Milky Way night skies yet and I'm very excited to put stars on it and it's going to be a hard wait to wait till Tuesday to do that because it always really completes everything like when I was doing the Aurora piece I was like okay it looks okay but I don't love it let's put the stars on it and then I was like oh I love it so I'm very excited to already love this and excited to see how it'll look with stars on it So very happy with this. All right. Is this top coat dry? Mostly dry. We can start back on the left hand. And then we'll start wrapping up. Katsuki Randy says, Mel's tried and true art tips. Trust the process and stars make everything better. Basically.
which I got on the cuticle. I didn't bring anything else down besides the polish. So I can't like fix anything. So I'm trying to be super careful and not need to fix anything. start wrapping up then. So let's start by doing a shout out to my Patreon producers. Thank you guys for your support over on patreon.com. If you're interested in that and the perks, um, the mods will have, thank you Vagabond, the links in the chat. Um, other things that are coming up tonight on Steven's channel, we will be playing more Zelda. We are finishing up shrines. I don't know how many, but there is a lot. And I know there is at least one Maze left, not maze. That thing. <laughs> and I think there's a f labyrinth. Thank you. I wasn't, labyrinth wasn't coming to mind. And then um, what else is going on? Yeah. I am. And then there's some shrine, not shrines. There's probably a few quests to do yet. Otherwise, on Monday, I will be doing more Dark Cloud 2. We are onto my favorite chapter. And on Tuesday, we'll start doing Big Canvas painting again. We'll put stars on this one and see how it looks, and then we'll start doing the same thing onto Big Canvas. And I'm very excited for Big Canvas to start to come together because I'm very happy with the underpainting. I am done, Steven. Did you have something to do or say? Or... You want to vlog? <laughs> he says, do you guys want to vlog? I give it. He give? What vlog is it? Ah, this was Wednesday night vlog. <laughs> Vagabond says, what if we say no? He says too bad. So yeah, um, we will go raid the vlog. Fossix, you're so quick. How? All right, thanks everyone for being here and um, tuning in for the study and then impromptu nail stream. Um, I have to go do something outside. I suppose that's fine, there's umbrellas. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, go check out the vlog and I hope to see you tonight for Zelda, Monday for Dark Cloud, and then Tuesday for more big painting. So I hope everyone has a good weekend and I will see you later.